Well, we're here in December, and one of the things I look forward to each winter season is the negative low tides. Most of the time, you know, this is the time of year where we want to be in the back country and sight fish and really kind of cover some ground that super shallow water. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna fish this hole that's right out here. It's kind of in between the points. Okay. Um, and as the water continues to fall out, you can see all the wading birds back here. That's gonna turn into basically dry ground here pretty soon. Okay. And the fish get forced into this hole. So we're gonna slide up there and uh, see if we can't catch a few. I met Lisa about 15 years ago fishing the FLW Redfish Tour and um, and I was, I was kind of surprised because out of all those teams, there was only one ladies team. And uh, you know, throughout the years, she really held her own in those redfish tours. Uh, so we actually got, you know, we're chatting back and forth at the captain's meeting and throughout fishing the tournaments. And I just got to know her, she's super sweet and she can fish. You know, um, I'm looking at this fish as it's coming in and it's a small fish, but for me, that's absolutely amazing because it's such a great indicator that what's going on in our fisheries is working. Um, you know, well, and this size is like a year old, right? Yeah, yeah, and they grow about a half an inch a month in the wild, so he'll be he'll be an amazing fish. Um, here shortly and um, the slot size very soon. Oh yeah. Beautiful little fish. He's great. Let me go. Great fish. And I will tell you, um, you know, that fish just is a testament to what's happening with um, you know the closures that 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 oh, yeah. FWC is in, you know, initiated here in this area. Um, anglers are going to be so happy in the future because of that. So Charlotte Harbor has this pristine beauty and gorgeous waters, but it is a challenge to learn because so many areas that you look at, although you might not have hard structure to be able to run your boat through, you're running along and all of a sudden you're going from three foot of water to no water and um, you know the the ridges and the pockets and the points in in Charlotte Harbor are just massive once you learn this area just I mean there's trout there's redfish snook um, tarpon flounder, all kinds of different species that you can catch in one location. Um, and you can catch them on the outside, but once you get on the inside, then it's not just the fish that you're catching, but it's the bald eagles and the ospreys and the roseate spoonbills and the ibis and the wealth of, of nature that we get to experience once you slip past the outer perimeters of Charlotte Harbor is just, it's like, wow, is this really in my own backyard? Um, but it's here. You just got to find the right people to explore it with. Oh, get him. Get him. Boy, set up on it. Um, about the same. About the same? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the way he put me, it might have been a couple of fish. I saw a much bigger wake on it. He's not a giant. But got, you know, again, he's got like an attitude I said, like one. he is a true um, testament to the the way that our fishery is coming back. When you see fish like that, it's oh, yeah. like Yahoo! Single spot. Yep. Yeah. When we got set up on these holes, we started catching some fish and we were catching some pretty good numbers of fish. Smaller redfish for sure, anywhere, I don't know, eight to even 15 inches. 
and some trout that would match that. You know, that's really not necessarily the fish that we're looking for, but nobody's ever gonna turn a nose at pulling on those fish when it's just about every cast. I had finished going out at our first location and we figured now is a great time to make the run to our second spot and really you know you got to admire just the the sheer beauty of what we're seeing with this crazy low tide birds were everywhere the wading birds the rosette spoonbills the giant white pelicans and honestly I don't know that I've seen this many white pelicans since I've been guiding here for almost 17 years making our way to that second spot first thing we saw was the abundance of mullet and I knew when we got there that was going to be a big key for us especially in the holes that they were staged up in uh oh uh oh, uh -oh. Whoa, whoa we got we got something big mister oh that's, that's a, a big good red. fish whatever it is it's a big red fish I am so proud that you <laughs> changed your leader. Yes, right? Right? Um, just, just making the decision. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cast over you way out yeah. where, where you were. There may be a second one right? there. Oh, it's a good one. That's a nice red. Can I help in any way? Well, I'm hoping we get him closer, get a good eyeball on him. Mm-hmm. Mmm, that is a beast. What can I do? Well, I may just give you the rod and I'll reach down here and grab him. Oh yeah, got him. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. <sighs> now that <laughs> is a fish. That is a absolute stud. Gorgeous fish, way I to mean, go. That's what we've been hunting for. I, I know. <laughs> I am so happy. Yeah, and he was up shallow with those Yeah. Models. When you get an upper slot redfish, you know, it's, it's really something that you need to kind of soak in a little bit because sometimes they're few and far between. When you're throwing plastics, you know, it's a different game than throwing live bait anyway. So when you get a quality fish like that, you know, you gotta appreciate what you have. And many times, you know, when you get a drag pulling redfish, that's what it's all about. Everybody that goes fishing wants that kind of excitement. And even still today, I've been guiding now 17 years full time. All my days off, I go fishing. That's the feel that I wanna have when I go fishing. Coastal Conservation Association, Florida is the oldest and um, largest nonprofit organization that does uh, habitat restoration, anglers' rights to fish, advocacy, water quality issues, um, cleaning up our waterways, and education of our youth in fishing. For the last three years, Charlotte Harbor has been one of the destination counties for our Coastal Conservation Association star competition. A 101 day fishing competition where we tag redfish and release them. We have 17 different divisions which focuses on tarpon, snook, redfish, trout. We have a youth division. We give away $100,000 in college scholarships to date. That's a half a million dollars because we've been a five year competition. Charlotte Harbor and our county here, Punta Gorda, Englewood, all of the different waters that encompass Charlotte County, they have a total of eight tagged redfish. And it really does produce because this year, in 2000, this past year, we had four tagged redfish caught in Charlotte Harbor. And of the four, two of them were registered in the competition 
and CCA members, and one chose a brand new Pathfinder with Yamaha. The other chose a brand new Contender powered by Yamaha. Both of those were valued, uh, the Pathfinder at over $70,000, the Contender at over $100,000. So just for fishing over the summer and doing what you love, you have the, the opportunity to, to win some amazing prizes. Well, fishing at home certainly is a, is a plus. You know, it's, don't have to travel anywhere. It's right here. I know the waters like the back of my hand. And, um, you know, I, I was encouraged to see the size of fish we were catching today. Not all of them were giants, but the ones we were catching were the size that we like to see going forward in the future. You know, those redfish grow really quick. And when you're catching 12 to even 15 inches, you know that's the stock for the years to come. So it's encouraging to see. And if you can go in anytime and catch the number of fish we caught today, it's a good day on the water.